since Zay Frank, um, since Zay Frank approves of my artwork so much, I'm wondering what he thinks about this series that I started on back at the beginning of the year. I have to finish this up, don't I? It's been tucked away hiding and I haven't thought about it much. But uh, recently with the new commissioned painting, which actually she wants me to adjust it again for her. I gave it to her. And she was very pleased with it, but then she wants she wants to be thinner again. I already made her look thinner, but she wants to be to look even thinner. But whatever. So the video for this painting, though, the previous video I made uh, showing this video, this painting, um, Ronald Reagan rim jobs. Don't don't shoot the messenger. Okay, I'm just telling. That's actually a name of a guy on YouTube who's been uh, commenting on my channel. For well, I think since I started um, posting videos about this cult that I think Zay Frank is in, so as far as I know, Zay Frank could be Ronald Reagan rim jobs. But Ronald Reagan rim jobs, he commented on the uh, video for that painting saying Zay Frank approves. So uh, he's he's clearly like some kind of gang stalker. Whether Zay Frank hired him or what have you, I don't know. Or he actually is Zay Frank. <laughs> being a little coward, uh, you know, P-U-S-S-Y, um, who can't just, you know, put his own face on his, on what he says, whatever. So I, I just figured, um, I, and I didn't make a video documenting these images for this series. The series, um, started off, I'm calling it for now, I'm calling it visualize a better future. And, um, it's, it's images of my suspects. So they, Frank, and, you know, where they rightfully belong, in my opinion, which is in prison um, for child abuse. So there's a, there's one of them. I might change the numbers, the prison numbers. I put in, I put a mermaid tattoo on his chest because, um, in prisons, they force mermaid tattoos on inmates that are in prison for child molestation. Like the inmates will hold, will corner the the the, the offender and and hold them down and force a mermaid tattoo on them somewhere, and that's how they they get they're marked officially for being child abusers. Oh. It's me working out different like tattoo designs. Let's see what else. There are others of his his dad. Oh, here we go. Do I have any in the beginning here? I don't think so. This is Johan Frank, Zay Frank's father. Also in prison. <clears throat> He's got a mirror behind him there. With his reflection. I'm sure you can work out what I'm suggesting there. I still have to finish images in the pictures on the wall. Mm-hmm. This is one, another one I started off on for Zay. This is the original one I began drawing, but I didn't like it as much. And I, I had the idea for the other one that I already showed you. So I just kind of abandoned this one and started working on the other. This is actually, I, I sort of had like an, a vision in my mind of him. That's, it's this overall image actually that made, that inspired me to start the series because I had something like a vision of him sitting kind of like this, very alone, uh, isolated on a bench in a, in a cell, a prison cell. Um, anyway, yeah, so I, I, I probably won't finish this one though. I should have abandoned it. And then there are, here's some of the other suspects and I have to continue on drawing the surroundings. So this is Shmuel Asher. I have a video about him. I have a couple of videos about him. 
these guys are all pretty much like cult leaders in their own, in a sense, in their own way. And that's how they make a lot of their money is they, they develop a cult following of people willing to give them tons of money. So Shmuel Asher, oh, Chris Thompson, he's a member of um, Vampire Weekend. I went to school with this douchey McDouche, <clears throat> who I do think, I think he and at least uh, Ezra, the uh, one of his bandmates, are both in this cult. They clearly seem to be a, a Brassics worshippers. But, yeah, so I started off drawing him sort of like at the the lunch counter, kind of like in line waiting for his tray of food. <laughs> but I might change that up. I don't know. Ah, Richard Hart, Richard James Schuler, the queen of cryptocurrency. So, again, yeah. At this point, for a lot of them, I just started on the face. And I haven't finished getting, like, the surroundings in. But I have some ideas for all of them. And I don't remember if there are any more. I think he might be the last one I worked on. Ah, it's kind of hard to grab individual paper. paper. My other hand full. Yeah, I think that might be the last one I've worked on so far. I have more suspects on my list, but... Oh, Tony Robbins. I... Did I start on him? I... He might be in here somewhere. Eh. If I did start on him, I don't think I, I actually got very far with him. He's probably going to be the next one after... I... There was one I was going to make of them together. But I like this one that I already started of Richard Hart. And the other one that I envisioned kind of, it would need a different Richard Hart, like a different profile or different, a different angle for him. I could have something where like, you know, Tony Robbins is like right behind him in sort of an intimate way <laughs> because he like sings the praises of Tony Robbins. And I think that Tony Robbins might've brought him into the cult network. I think that's very possible. I think Tony Robbins is probably already in it. They're sort of, uh, Tony Robbins is definitely like Knights Templar secret society type dude. Um, I've made videos kind of showing um, how the, the uh, certain symbols he wears, like the, the clover, the four leaf clover that represents the cross, the Knights Templar cross and stuff like that. But within these secret societies, there are, you know, circles of child traffickers, child abusers. That's a part of the secret, guys. That's, a, that's a, I hate to break it to you. That's, that's a big part of the secret. That's why they're keeping it a secret is because um, it's to do with child abuse. Yeah, I didn't like that. It was not turned, the, couldn't get the nose right. But yeah, yo him. How you like these, eh? You approve? Fucking unfair that you have everything you have in no small part because you're willing to abuse children and I have to live in a one bedroom shithole because I refuse to engage in such things. I'm really starting to get just like Sick and tired and hopeless about, you know, even carrying on in a world where it does seem more and more like you've got to be a P. Diddy piece of crap. You know, that kind of asshole in order to have even like half of the material gains that these kinds of guys have. 
or even like some of the most basic good things like a secure home in an in a uh, safe neighborhood with a you know a good a good partner and a couple kids and the resources to raise a you know have a family apparently apparently you can't even have those things the most basic of basic things unless you engage in child abuse like these trash melts and um just to be just to be clear I do. I don't think that, that that isn't necessarily inherent in this world or in this life. I think that these people make it that way. And if we could just get rid of them, it probably wouldn't be so bad. Prove me wrong, though, Zay. Prove me wrong. Show me that, uh, you know, it's not all your fault. No, it's not all your fault, the fault of your family or your little network of scumbags. Prove me wrong. He's such a coward. By the way, um, it does seem a little bit like with the with the echidna video, and you know the little the the part about the um, the married bird couple and the echidna. It does seem a little bit like you're saying like your wife wanted you to kind of like get rid of me or um, keep me away, something like that, or was the reason why you're not coming down here, giving me any face-to-face -face explanations. Like you're kind of blaming it on your wife. Like, dude, I thought you were free. <laughs> oh, I thought you were a free man. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> but you blame like just like a little boy. You know, it's all your it's all your wife's fault. It's all mommy's fault, right? It's not because you're a total coward. It's not because you have no spine or balls, right? No, it's your wife's fault. Everything's somebody else's fault. Right, coward? Hmm? So, let me know if you approve, dude. Bye.